Welcome back to another of my online YouTube video tutorial series. At the end of this video, you should know how to construct or draw a hypocyclide. Uh, hypocyclide is similar to epicyclide, except that uh, its role is a circle that rolls on the internal surface of a curve or an arc without slipping. So the same principle that applies for epicycloid applies for hypocycloid. Uh, here we have a circle of, we have a base arc of 250 millimeters and a generating or rolling circle of 50 millimeters. Uh, in order to get this, this angle here, we divide, we use mass. So it's rolling circle over generate uh, rolling circle circle over uh, rolling circle over a base arc, which is 250. 250 multiply by 360. And this works so to be 72 degrees. Five into this one, five into this seven, two. And in like manner, the uh, next step, uh, it's, it's very important that you watch the first video on this, the video on how to construct a, a cycloid and also a epicycloid. Uh, very important. As I will not be going through all the steps which I have gone through with the previous video as, a, as um, the principle for epicycloid and hypo cyclides are basically the same. Uh, we first generate, establish a vertical line. We, I then rotate this, rotate this at an angle of half of 72. Uh, I strongly recommend that you pause this video, watch the video on, on um, epicycloid before attempting to do this question. All right, so now I have my radiating lines, the center and the rotating circle, All right? My next step is to draw arcs passing through these points. So for that, I click circle, center here. I first need to change my construction layer. Repeat circle, base point is here. There. Repeat command by hitting the space bar. Space bar to repeat. Space bar to repeat. Left click for the center. Click onto the points. Now that I have done this, the next step is to label all these points. All right, so from here, um, this is, this would have been, um, based on how this, this uh, circle rolls, if the circle was to roll along the internal surface here, along the internal surface here, if it was to roll on this on this circumference here, we would find that this point would come in, in contact first, followed by, by this point. Next would have been this point, this point, that point, next point here followed by this point, that point. 
right? So this would have been point one, point two, point two would have been here, point three, four, five, six, seven, and back to zero or eight. So um, our next step is to, let me change to my mouse. So my next step is to move this. Typically, we generate a series of circles passing through all these points. So we copy or we draw arc. We draw arc from the from this circle to cut from center from a center of one to cut one. But I personally do not like to use arc because arc arc tends to act up a little bit. So I tend to use circle. So we're pretty much using here a center, scribe an arc. But instead of using an arc, I will be moving this circle. So I'm gonna click this, move this up to one. And at the point where one, the point where one cuts one, this is line one, one cuts one is here at this point. So I'm gonna place a point there. So this is this is this is, this is one. Move this up to that point. Oh, that's something with this. Mouse. I bring this up to that point. Something, something, or oh, something shift. Yes, yeah, something shift. Something shift. Not here. Something shift. So we place a point where where one meets one, which is right there. Skip. I then move this point, move this circle, or you could generate another circle here. So move this to this point. Click there, and now at a point where so this is line number two meets center number two, which is right, which is here. Our next point is, our next point is here. Click there, let's skip. And again, we copy this around to the next center. So we click this, drop this onto the center. And again, it's where this is art number three, where it blends with three, which is right here. So again, I copy my points to that location. And the next point would be here, here. Copy this or move that, drag it and drop it, drop it at this point, All right? So we have that. Uh, we could, we could join the points from here to create half of the, of the pattern, or we could do just one more, all right? So we, no, typically, I normally do just half of this and use AutoCAD to use copy, use mirror to draw the other half. So let me do just one more point. So again, I'm gonna move this, click this, move this around to the center, And so this is this is now center five. So we're gonna go back to this is one, two, three, four. So it's, it's back to this line where it cuts this line. Where it cuts this line. So it would have been here at this point. And again, I'm gonna copy one of this, drop it right there. So it's right there. Um, I don't, I don't, I won't be doing it anymore. I will be drawing half of this and then mirror, mirror it, okay? So I'm going to use change to my outline layer. 
go to my outline layer. Then activate spline. Spline shortcut is SPL. Enter. And then check to ensure that orthogonal mode is deactivated. And I will be spline SPL, SPL, enter. Starting point is here. Click here, click there, click at this point. Be careful to click under the correct point. That will be my next point. Here will be my next point. Here will be my next point. My next point will be here, so this pretty much this looks like uh, I'm sure. So I would, I'm just gonna stop this right here, enter, then trim TR. Enter, and I'll be selecting this as my as my baseline, as my cutting edge. Enter. Click this, escape. So I pretty much generated only half, and I will be mirroring this. So this mirror. M I. Enter. So what you could do in this case, you could copy, you could copy these. To the different points okay just to show the construction technique how you how you generate these points so copy enter specify the base point um, c o enter select object to be copied this enter base point is here the center and i'm going to drop one here one there one there and um one someplace here okay and once in mirror all of that the, those will form over here so now i'm going to copy this to the other side copy this that that circle on the spline enter my first base point is here. Oh. -O. oh, sorry, it should be mirror. It should have been mirror. M I. It should have been mirror. Sorry, not, not copy. M I. Enter. Select object to be mirrored. This, that, this circle as well. And the spline. Enter. Now my first mirror line is here. It is extremely important for you to read the command bar every step of the way. Enter. So now you can see that I mirror this and something is out, something is off yeah so the center is off but once you get the, once you get, get a principle that's what, what, what's important the principle that's pretty much this is not very pronounced but that's the basic principle behind um generating uh hypocycloid uh it, i strongly recommend that you watch the video on how to produce or to draw a epicycloid. I have two videos on how to, do, how to do that. It's basically the same principle. If you prefer to use arcs, uh, you may want to go ahead and use that as well, because it's basically the same principle for using arcs. Okay.